Yeah. Uh, I was at G5 actually, and someone brought up that, like I was asking around for locals okay. because I, I live over here, obviously. And someone brought up the server, and I got an invite. Yeah, later. I mean, it only really existed starting like December. So. so I actually just took cars to this stage last, and I actually took him out on it. I'm not quite sure how, but it worked. So let's see how we can do against T-Box. He loses the edge guard early, which would have been fantastic and taken percent because he lost. Uh, T-Box lost the uh, the pillar early on. Cars lost his a. Uh, aggressiveness is that he was showing in the winners finals he usually gets up to at least 100 percent before t-box turns the ties and takes the stock oh he's trying to break that pillar with the acorn yeah it worked that that's t-box stock right there it's even zero zero did the plant just die over time or did it like false hit him uh the plant dies over time but I wasn't actually watching that. I was looking at the chat. It died pretty soon. It, it might have probably might have passed it. through it too quick. Yeah. Oh, he's trying not to overextend too much. Yeah, it's really wa interesting watching these players play compared to them fighting other people because uh, Cars specifically plays much more patiently, waiting for the opening rather than rushing in. Usually, I'd say at least uh, Cars is a decently aggressive player, especially with Maple because Maple is a very fast, grounded, uh, grounded character. Yeah, he's being really there pressuring with goes. that edge guard. He loves the uh, up special to Nair. That's his go-to. I was actually surprised to see him using <laughs> more up airs than Nairs in our games. Watching T-Box edge guard with the rocks is just always hilarious to me. Yeah, he can really uh, he can really put percent, and he can get you uh, pretty salty, just holding you out there with nothing but a projectile, and you can't really do anything about it if he eats your air dodge and your jump. Reminds me a bit of Yoshi's eggs and smash, except they are like actually really powerful. Yeah. He's playing a little risky, playing a lot of these pillars just to escape combos, but if he gets hit out of it, he's just gone. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think he's worried too much about getting gimped by it because he's pretty he's pretty smart about when to be on and when to be off the pillar. Mm -hmm. And that's that. He uh, fell to his death a little slowly. Um, he might have spent his air dodge. Sometimes you just end up falling, hoping that you, hoping that the air dodge catches you and there's just nothing to catch you. Hit stun can last. I remember, was it you who mentioned to him, don't take him to Rockwall? Yeah, yeah, uh, don't take him to Rockwall, because T-Box specifically, don't take T-Box to Rockwall, because he will fair you out, and there's really, really short side blast zones. Is it the on shortest or second shortest sides? Uh, I believe it's the second shortest with the addition of Abs's stage, but I'm not sure, because they actually updated Abs's stage before I got to recheck that. I'm pretty sure they're both shortest in one aspect. And then second in the other. I, I'd say Abs' stage is the shortest just because it has the platforms leading out that you can stand on, and from there it's definitely the shortest. Yeah, you, you'll die the earliest there. Yeah, but both are pretty much just about at the edge of the screen. Unlike this stage, this stage has no platforms, which I'd say is a deficit to cars specifically, mm -hmm. but um, it has just huge there. blast zones, and that's why cars chose it, I believe, is because um, he didn't want to get killed early on by his aerials. Oh, that's a really smart camping strategy. Uh, using his up air to hit on the pillar. Yeah. Does Maple's up air uh, give him any upward momentum? It does, but only if you're moving upwards. It works much like um, Orcane's Orca Hop, if okay. you know what that works like. Yeah. And so it'll extend a jump, but it won't give him anything if he's falling. Uh... I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played Maple a ton, but that's what I believe to be the case. Ooh. Yeah, just like Ladix is what I assume your name is in chat said. This game is a lot of movement. It's very fast paced, and that's why T-Box has such a big competitive edge against a lot of the other players, a lot of the other crags. Yeah, we're all so slow. No, it's just because of how well he uses his movement, how well he um, spaces you, how well he times out everything. 
it's fantastic when you really get to look at what he's doing. He plays really safe with his combo game, though. He does. He doesn't like to overextend himself because with Krag, he's really easily comboed. So he wants to get in where he knows that he can hit you, and he can hit you. And that'll, that'll be game two. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Jerain's right. He will fair stare you. And we, we were playing friendlies earlier, and uh, first game, first stock, five fairs. Just done. I hated it. He's so much fun to play with, but he's just so painful. I mean, the first one's got to be at only like 40% or something. Yeah, I, I died at 40%. <laughs> it was uh, it was a rough game. Yeah, I mean, it, at 90%, even if you die in, I can't imagine he gets another fair. He can try, especially if you die in, actually. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even 90%, though. Yeah. I think it's a little too high. So, at, at the first one, you can probably just DI out and avoid most of it. And if he's not extending his combo game that far, like, there if that's the furthest he's ever going, it. then DIing out's a lot more safe. Car is already at 90%, 15 seconds of the match. Oh, my God. This is what I'm talking about. Fantastic <laughs> edge guarding, using those fares very liberally. And that's it. Cars is down a complete stop. Let's see how this turns out. Cars Started absolutely something. has the ability to turn this around. He's got a fantastic combo game, Ooh. and he will go as deep as he possibly can. He missed that platform drop. Oh, but he gets another parry anyway. Ooh. And he's gone. Like I said, Cars has a fantastic chance of bringing this back. Only 34% deficit. And the Cars is... I, I didn't... Hmm? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Cars is really taking advantage of the fact that he's not actually parrying his root, parrying root. And if T-Box catches a hold of that, that's going to be a huge loss to Cars' game. I'm surprised he's not punishing harder on that uh, rock spin. It's a little hard to punish because while Krag may not be able to act quickly out of it, he's still invincible until he gets out of the thing. So it's very, uh, it's rough. T-Box takes a stop. It was super good parrying straight out of his FB, but he didn't really get much off of it. Cars is playing very patiently waiting for the opening now that he doesn't want to get uh, he doesn't want to be down on that stock he gets parried gets a sizable percent looks like this might be no never mind oh my god cars could have gone for the uh, the second dip there but he probably would have missed smart move pulling back it's unfortunate to see that he wasn't able to extend the edge guard any longer they're both playing very carefully waiting for an opening and that's it. Nope. I was wrong. Ah, oh, he that barely was a missed clever that. read, but looks like cars. he couldn't really go for a down smash there because it wouldn't be killed. It possibly would have gotten him off stage though, where he could yeah. do this. Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh. On the game. He's so brutal with those edge guards. It's fantastic. He doesn't need to extend guarding. over the edge with his combos. It's great to see Cars getting out here, though. I know he lives around the place, but he's very active in the community. Hopefully, this draws in some more people from around San Jose. Why do you think T Box bans the water stage? Uh, I'm not entirely sure why he bans Merchant Port. Um, I think it's because of the platform placement might affect how he approaches people with fair. <laughs> it might give them a chance to tech and respond before he can get out a second fair if he's doing it from mid-stage. And I know Cars probably likes Merchant Port because he does a lot with platforms. He likes to stay up at the top of the platforms waiting for his opening. He drops down and then immediately hops back up trying to bait you. Mm -hmm. 
Kind of like what he did just right there. It might be just because of this matchup. He wants to block out any recovery mix-ups that are really easy with those platforms on Merchant's Word. Possibly. I, I can see here that the uh, this map reco um, the recovery on this map favors Krag in this, in this matchup because the oh, platforms are a little higher. It's going to be harder for Mabel to reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I picked the it, this stage for the same reason against um, Zetterburn. Yeah. He has to really commit if he wants to recover to those platforms. Ah, oh, that was a great way to catch his recovery. Nares and pulls him in front of him, then fares. Hopefully we'll see this taken to game five, but it looks like it's... Oh! Yeah, no, I'm Cars seeing T-Box taking it now. I don't know, Cars is racking up some pretty nice percent. I've seen him take... some pretty solid combos. He's trying to parry those up airs. We really need to see gar cars get really deep into the edge, um, into the edge guarding game. He's fantastic at just following them as far as he possibly can. We haven't seen that a lot this tournament, but hopefully he pulls it out in a last effort. Oh, is that gonna do it? No. Maybe if you got on the other side of him, but that was... yeah, he was doing that before. He missed the parry, and that's oh it. Gosh. His game is set. Cars takes Dunzo. it. Yeah, maybe Wait, he just no, not wasn't Cars takes it. T Box takes it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he just wasn't reacting well enough. But uh, Never Eat Cars wasn't really punishing any of the rock grabs in neutral. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for your eyes, guys. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm thinking maybe he was too afraid to approach because he was doing it mixed up with down bees a little bit. Yeah, Car um. Cars is really being walled out by down specials rocks and even at sometimes pillars, but T Box was on top of it with spacing, he was on top of it with his fares, he was on top of his edge guarding. We saw some fantastic gameplay from both of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to see it next month, early April. Yeah, a lot of clever adaptations, but not quite enough. <laughs> yeah. That's that's it. There is there is an AFK GG Facebook for the rivals for this rivals tournament and there's a San Jose, uh, Bay Area locals rivals discord that you can yeah. ask about on the main rivals discord yeah so on the, in the main rivals discord in I don't know, one of the channels you can find the link to the NorCal rivals discord which is where I try to advertise every local we have and then also on the Facebook page you can find the link to the discord there and on top of that any locals we find are always advertised in Facebook as well. Yeah, and you'll find links to all the, the Facebook, you'll get pings for tournaments, and you'll get general area information for the rival scene on the Bay Area Discord. You can also put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, that's true.